I'm Brittany, this is John, and welcome to Gay Watch, where we watch gay things. Today is episode 10 of season 3 of Hannibal. We are sliding into the home plate now. We are so, so, so close to the grand finale. One of the great things about this show, though, is that it's both really good at the slow burn development, but then at other times, it's amazingly capable of covering a lot of ground in just one episode. And with only four episodes left, it's gonna be really interesting from a whole show perspective, but also specifically with Will and Hannibal, where exactly they uh, put on the brakes and pump the gas for these last couple few hours that they have of screen time, especially leading up to the ultimate answer to the questions that the series has been asking all of this time. At some point, especially towards the end of a series or as things culminate, you've got to answer some questions. And in this case, there are some very important questions about certain characters, relationships and sexualities and types of attraction, types of attachment. There are just some things that need to finally be clarified. So I'm going to hit play because any minute now, this show has got to start clarifying them. I'm more interested in the license plates than his vocal exercises. What are the license plates about? What a suitably fucking creepy background he has although to be honest I'm surprised it's not the painting of the back of the dragon oh it's the phone call from last time okay it's that easy to talk to Hannibal fucking Lecter is it I was about to say he's fanboying so fucking hard right now it's like if I had gotten on the phone with Mads Mikkelsen I swear, this is Hannibal's number one fucking hobby. Nurturing psychopaths. I mean, yeah, that does kind of seem undermining and kind of childish considering he fucking brutally murders families. As John the Baptist recognized the one who came after. Hang on, I just got dizzy from that high ass opinion of himself. Excuse me, what does that mean? What exactly does that- Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna have to call the queer jury on this. What? Meld? Meld. Meld? How are we choosing to interpret this, kids? Because... I have some ideas. I knew we saw you again, but for some reason I didn't expect to see you again, so explain that. Zachary Quinto? Zachary Quinto?! What the fuck?! When did Zachary Quinto pop up in?! I don't remember him ever being in this show! Also, wow, she is committed, whole fucking ass hog to this lie. It is almost admirable. But what the fuck, Zachary Quinto?! Is he gonna meld with anybody? Bring inside Hannibal Lecter's bowels for what must have felt like an eternity. Listen, you've been in there for a while yourself, sir. The deal, he just crawled so far up his ass he couldn't be bothered. Again, you've been there yourself, sir. And as a monster. Once again. You're the bride of Frankenstein. And again. Yeah, you've both been his bride. Thank you. Thank you. She'll say till her dying breath. Have you been to see him? Naked? You haven't learned your lesson, have you? Nope. Or did you just miss him that much? Yep. Was that a little bit of a I know him better than you type of one upmanship right there? I think that's what it was. Du Maurier 
is so fascinating. She's one of the biggest enigmas of the show, which is Why fucking is saying something. Oh, that guy's nice. But he's gotta be put to sleep. This is so fucking sad. That is reminiscent of fucking Abigail and her dad, specifically the hand going through. But I don't think he's got as much blood in his brain as he did about 45 seconds ago. This is interesting about how this late in the game, they develop this relationship that is like a parallel of season one, Will and Hannibal, back when Will didn't know what Hannibal was. gonna handle because he's not great with physical contact hope i didn't shock you oh no he broke glass because he's relaxed quite the same a magnificent thing of will and hayes we love a visual parallel we love a visual fucking parallel Gonna steal that shit. Bare hands, really. It's amazing how that makes sense to me. You know, you're the second person who's asked to see the Blake today. Oops. Fucking oops. Are his psycho senses tingling? Damn, why does he look so good in this scene? Some motherfucking strength. Ooh, son. Ooh. Yeah, see, there's the problem with the Red Dragon stuff. Over half the episode was Red Dragon shit. And in the last six episodes of the season, and what would become the last six episodes of the series, that's a bit much. They never had that much focus on a serial killer, aside from fucking Hannibal. They never had that much focus on a serial killer in this show before. And you get pretty used to him pretty quickly. Like, you kind of understand that well, at any given time, or just at the end of the sequence, he's going to do something fucking weird. We're already really aware of that by now, and he's only been in the past... He's only been here for like three episodes. So, a bit of a weird set of creative decisions from Brian Fuller here. Like, some that I would definitely ask about, about why he chose to make it this prominent when he could have gotten across the same thing in a much shorter time frame. But while that is kind of holding these final episodes back so far, what we're still getting of the cast that we know and love and that we're all here for is still great and fantastic and absolutely riveting and interesting and 1000% worth watching and I'm still totally like invested. It's just now coming at the price of a lot of Red Dragon stuff that's already feeling repetitive this early on in the, what, six or seven episodes that he's even in. But also the Red Dragon stuff was like marginally more interesting than what I remembered. 
Like, I really remembered it as, like, practically dead air. Like, practically, you may as well have just shown me the wall to watch paint dry. And it's not quite that deadly. It's not quite that lethal. It is somewhat interesting. And his particular cocktail of whatever the fuck is going on in his head is a nice little puzzle to kind of watch and figure out and put on display. It just shouldn't be on display this fucking much. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back on Wednesday with episode 11. And please remember to take care of yourself.